On a Wednesday night, entrepreneurs and investors are rubbing shoulders in downtown Indianapolis. It's a networking event for the Venture Club of Indiana. The Venture Club of Indiana supports local entrepreneurs, connecting them with resources, specifically us early stage seed money, venture capital. Kara Kavensky started her own consulting business and owns a Pilates studio. Now is exactly the perfect time to start a business. In 2016, the state's Small Business Development Center helped launch 248 new businesses, creating nearly 1,000 jobs. One study we found shows Indiana with a slight increase in startup activity and entrepreneurship. Justin Goheen started his own finance company on Fall Creek. Handling the accounting, handling the you know, financials, the funding, the banking relationships, the client relationships, I mean, everything is just... Uh, all at one time. So what does it take to launch your own company? We asked First Internet Bank CEO David Becker. He started over a dozen businesses and says first you need a good idea. You need to find a problem, come up with a solution. Then test your idea, gather feedback to see if it will really work. Well, the ideal situation is keep your day job and start the business on the side. Fund your idea for as long as you can and then look for outside funding. Groups like the Venture Club can connect you with investors. There's the rules of three. It's always going to take three times longer and it's going to cost three times as much as you think it is in the beginning. Also, avoid landmines up front. Remember this rule of threes too. You need a good attorney, you need a good accountant, and you need a good banker. It's hard to say how much money you need to launch your own business. Some need a lot more dough than others. For a finance company, my raw material is money. Justin used his own money, his partners, and he borrows money to fund his business. Very happy with the way things are going. Of course, running a startup and being your own boss has its downsides. As you can see, I, I'm a one-man show right now, pretty small office, and um, you miss some of that camaraderie of having co-workers. I literally wear every hat right now. <laughs> so you give yourself a great vacation policy? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there's, uh, there's no vacation right now. Successful entrepreneurs say expect doors to be slammed in your face, but listen to why someone's telling you no. You know, my only regret is I didn't do this five years ago. The latest numbers show Indiana small businesses employ more than a million Hoosiers. That's roughly half of the state's private sector workforce. Now, before you launch your own company, make sure you look into any tax or legal liability issues before you get started. We're live downtown, Kara Kenny, RTV6.